In the city of Derna in eastern Libya, there is damage and rubble as far as the eye can see. The area's local administration says flooding has wiped out a quarter of the city after dams burst in a huge storm. The Red Cross believes some 10,000 people are feared missing across the country. Storm Daniel barreled across the Mediterranean into a country crumbling from more than a decade of conflict. Over a thousand bodies have already been recovered in Derna alone. The following graphic images show people checking on shrouded bodies on the ground. Here's the head of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Society's delegation in Libya, Tamer Ramadan. Our teams on the ground uh, are uh, still doing the assessment, but uh, from what we see and from the news coming to us, the death toll is huge. Uh, it, uh, it might reach 2000s, really. A Reuters journalist on the way to Derna saw vehicles overturned on the edges of roads, trees knocked down and abandoned flooded houses. One local official said what he saw there was disastrous and that bodies are lying everywhere. <laughs> This man says the flood comes every year, but this time is worse. He says people have been on the streets since yesterday. Derna is bisected by a seasonal river that flows from highlands to the south. It's normally protected from flooding by dams, as seen in this satellite imagery. But video posted on social media shows the remnants of a collapsed dam seven miles upstream of the city where the two river valleys converged. Now it's surrounded by huge pools of mud-coloured water. There used to be a dam, says the man filming the video. Now it is soil. Convoys of aid and assistance were heading towards Derna and also al Badia, which is around 62 miles away. Turkey and other countries rushed to send support to Libya, including search and rescue vehicles, rescue boats, generators and food. <laughs> Libya is politically divided between east and west. The internationally recognized government in Tripoli does not control eastern areas, though it is believed to have dispatched aid to Derna with at least one relief flight on its way. هذا وادي وهذا وادي هذا الوادي واضحه تصور عندك فيديو انت ديال اه فيديو سوى هذا وادي وهذا وادي هاك تصور دارت هذا الوديين وهذا المحقن وهذيك الطريق كانت جيله عند الطريق هذا من فوق عارفين عجمات دارنا هذا السد
كان هناك سد تراب قاعد سد تراب وريت السد تراب وعليه الحيط وريت الحيط اهو قاعد لا تراب 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 مش عارف ايش اي نعمل خلص هذا عاد انهار السد ضيق فوقي هو سد الاول والسد الثاني عاد الاول اللي هو طمن هذا هذا كان مرتفع عادي يبقى 50 40 متر تو وضعيه 40 متر هذا 40 متر 40 متر جاي فوق من دارنا يعني اللي يقول لك خشطت عليه ميه الدر الرابع والدر الخامس هذه هي ما فيها الشك عبد الله هذه دارنا منكوبه شهادات محليه طبعا ما يصير منها شيء في ايش شهادات دوليه هذه استغفر الله الله اكبر We do not need aid, not even medication or equipment, nor doctors or ambulances. Thanks to God, we have 400 ambulances that took off. But we have a problem in retrieving the bodies from the sea. The Libyan Navy, divers and frogmen are putting all their efforts in retrieving the bodies. After this incident, we are looking back at ourselves and at what were the reasons in a calm and intelligent way. Today, we have allocated 2.5 billion to kick off the reconstruction in those areas. The scale of it is unclear, but we know it's big, and we know it's going to take a, a massive response. So in that sense, the World Food Program is prepared to respond. We respond. We have food in the warehouse in Benghazi. We, we're ready to deploy that quickly and, and rapidly as soon as we understand where the most needs are, who are the communities that are most impacted and in, in the most desperate need and move that out as quickly as possible. Well, certainly people have lost homes, they've lost all their belongings, so shelter will be, a, will be an urgent need. Food, of course, which is where the World Food Program supports, will be a, an urgent need, of course, for people that have lost, lost everything in the flooding. At the moment, we, as I said, we don't necessarily have a good understanding of the scope, but we're at the moment standing ready to provide food to 5,000 families that are affected by these floods in, in the Northeast. Uh, we have teams on the ground now. Uh, we have uh, staff that have deployed to Benghazi, which is, seems to be the closest we can get at the moment to the disaster area. And they're, they're working very closely with the government to understand and to assess those communities that are in need. Access and logistics and, and getting to those communities that are you know, at the center of this crisis is going to be a, a real first urgent need to, to understand and, and, and get a grips, a grips with. And then from there we can assess well, what is it exactly that uh, they need in terms of support. And we do have food in warehouses in Benghazi right now. It's, you know, we have pasta, we have rice, we have fortified oil, we have other commodities that we can provide fairly quickly once we understand how we can get to these communities. كارثة تلفزيون المسار يحاول أن يضع المشاهد الكريم في الصورة ولو كانت ولو أنها صورة مؤسفة نعتذر عن سيارات سيارات زرعت في هذه الأماكن أيضا وجع كبير جدا جدا على هذه المدينة وجع كبير جدا على هذه المدينة
ركام لكن أن تضع مدينة بالكامل وتضع شوارع عفوا بالكامل تضعها في البحر هذه الخرسان والخرسانات اللي حقيقة لا يمكن أحد أن يتخيل أن تتحرك يعني بالفعل هذه العاصفة يعني ركام هذا الـ الـ يعني هذا الـ الـ هذا الـ الاحصار اللي حقيقه ان يفتح هذه المدينه مناظر مفزعه جدا داخل مدينه درنا اعتقد ان هذه شباب مدينه درنا ربما يعني اقول لك حاجه نكبه بما تعني الكلمه صدق صدق ان نكبه بما تعني الكلمه وضع مأساوي صح والله بصدق وضع مأساوي صح الرئيسي اللي كان فيه يعني قطران وكان اسفلت شارع رئيسي تغير بالكجيبة هنا في مدينة درنا يعني عبر تلفزيون المسار نناشد المسؤولين نناشد المسؤولين نناشد المسؤولين هذه مناشدة للمسؤولين تمنى من المسؤولين يستخ يعني والله شو نقول لك بعد الوضع حاليا والله ما عجب فعلا صح الدولة شيء نشهد بالله اللي فقدناهم خلاص يتعوض هنا داخل هذا الحي المقابل للميناء يعني هذا أحد الأحياء التي ربما ضرر فيها يعني مقارنة ببعض الأحياء الأخرى التي مسحت تماما هذه مدينة درنا يعني نحن الآن نقف على مكان هو في الأصل كان مباني يعني تخيلوا At the outset of this meeting, I should like on behalf of the members of the Security Council to express our profound sadness over the devastating earthquake that hit Morocco last Friday and the deadly flooding that has affected Libya over the past days. These events have led to the loss of thousands of lives. Our thoughts are with all those affected by these heartbreaking disasters. The Security Council expresses its heartfelt sympathy and condolences to the families of the victims, to the people and the governments of Libya and Morocco. I now invite the members of the Council to rise and observe a minute of silence in tribute to the memory of the victims of these tragic events. Thank you.